Welcome to Stump the Scientist. Hello everyone and welcome back to Stump the Scientist. We're here with Jim Bray and today we're going to answer a question from Michael Zhang. He would like to know, is it possible with the science we know currently today to create a car that flies through the air like a plane with the same level of required experience like driving a car? What do you think? Hmm, okay, interesting question. The answer to that, Michael, with current science is no. And there are several reasons for that. First of all, cars move in what we would say two dimensions. Namely, they move around on the surface of the earth, on roads. Planes fly in three dimensions. And so this other dimension, up and down, is an experience that drivers don't have. That's one reason that you can't have the same level of experience as with a car and expect that to work in a plane. Another reason is, of course, planes have very big wings. Cars don't. Handling those wings and their size and their weight certainly is a different experience than one has in driving a car. A third reason is the way the controls work between cars and planes. In a plane, the control surfaces are pushing on the air. In a car, your control comes from the tires pushing on the road. This is a different experience as well, and the two drivers in the two cases have different ways they have to deal with these things. Uh, another reason is the power difference between a plane and a car. In a car, you are normally experienced with a certain amount of power, but in order to fly, you have much, must have a much larger engine available to you. Now, dealing with this much larger engine like a jet engine is not a normal experience that we have when we're driving a car. So that's a further difference. And finally, there's a difference in safety. If your engine decides to stop while you're driving a car, it's inconvenient. Your car will coast to a stop. In a plane, it's much more than inconvenient. You're very likely to crash. And so the safety requirements driving a plane are much different than driving a car. So for all those reasons, with current science, we probably can't carry the experience from driving a car to immediately driving a plane. That's why we have flight schools. Now, in the far future, when our ever-advancing computer and automation technologies go to a point much beyond today, indeed, we might be able to get into either a plane or a car and just tell the plane or a car, take me to Paris. And that might happen easy, equally easily for both, but we're a long way in current science from that state of automation and control. I hope that helps, Michael.